the college football regular season is over. I know. It's sad. I'm sad that it's over. But it's over. Uh, bowl season, though, is upon us. Games begin this Saturday, December 16th. Uh, and they will run through January 1st when the two semifinal games uh, will wrap everything up. And then one week after that, January 8th, Atlanta, Georgia, Mercedes-Benz Stadium uh, will host the 2017-18 College Football Playoff National Championship game. Uh, so the two semifinal games, uh, I will preview, preview those uh, at the end of the show. Rose Bowl matchup between uh, the second-ranked Oklahoma Sooners and the third-ranked Georgia Bulldogs both won their respective conference, the Big 12 and the SEC respectively. And then uh, in the All-State Sugar Bowl, the number one ranked uh, Clemson Tigers will battle it out with the fourth ranked Alabama Crimson Tide uh, for the third straight year in the college football playoff. Past two years, the games, uh, the games were played uh, in the national championship with both teams winning one time. Alabama won two years ago, and Clemson won last year. Uh, so, I guess I'll get right into it. Um, you know, like I said, we got games starting this Saturday the 16th. Uh, by the way, before I forget, Baker Mayfield, if you did not see, uh, he won the Heisman Trophy uh, this past Saturday uh, in New York City, beating out uh, Stanford running back Bryce Love and last year's winner Louisville quarterback Lamar Jackson to become the first to walk on in the scholarship era to win the Heisman Trophy so congratulations to Baker Mayfield 40 bowl games starting this Saturday December 16th first game on Saturday is the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl Troy and North Texas will uh, go head to head. Troy finished ten and two. North Texas finished nine and four, losing uh, their conference championship game to Florida Atlantic, uh, who will also be playing in a bowl game uh, in the Boca Raton Bowl, played at their own stadium. Though, so they'll be playing at their home stadium uh, for their bowl game. I'll get to that game here uh, coming up. Uh, Florida Atlantic is going to be playing Akron. Uh, who lost uh, their conference championship game as well to Toledo in the MAC conference championship game. So Troy's playing North Texas. I got to take Troy. I know somebody who goes to Troy, so uh, I'm going to take Troy over North Texas. That game, as I said, is the first game on Saturday, this Saturday, December 16th, 2017. The Auto Nation Cure Bowl in Orlando, Florida. Uh, at UCF's home stadium, uh, we'll see a matchup between Western Kentucky, who finished six and six, and Georgia State, who finished six and five. I'm going to take Georgia State. Don't really have a reason why, but I'm going to take Georgia State over Western Kentucky in the Cure Bowl. And the Cure Bowl, I believe this is the third year for this bowl game, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Cure Bowl. They're trying to find a cure for cancer. Uh, so I think everybody knows somebody uh, who has been affected by cancer, and we all have seen what they uh, or whoever it may be have gone through uh, in their battle with cancer. So um, you would like to donate to any cancer uh, foundation, go do so especially during the holiday season that is upon us as Christmas is uh, only uh, a couple days away. So, uh, Cure Bowl taking Georgia State over Western Kentucky. Las Vegas Bowl will probably be the best game on Saturday. The 25th ranked Boise State Broncos who finished 10-3 and won the Mountain West will uh, play Oregon in Las Vegas uh, who finished 7-5 and, and also lost their head coach after one season, Oregon really hasn't been able to keep a coach 
uh, ever since Chip Kelly left. Mark Helfrick did all right, led him to the national championship game uh, and the first ever college football playoff, uh, and they ended up losing to Ohio State, but finished 4-8 last year, 2016, got fired. He's currently working for Fox. Uh, and then they hire Willie Taggart, who they thought, you know, would be there a while, if not forever. And he leaves after one season to go back home to Florida to coach Florida State to fill that vacancy after Jimbo Fisher left to go to Texas A&M. Uh, money talks, so, and I think he's better off on the East Coast than he is West Coast. Uh, anyway, I mean, that's just my opinion, but... I mean, he did all right at Oregon, but they fin- finished 7-5 and five in his first year. I'm not going to say Florida State's a better program than Oregon. They're both prestigious programs, but I think he's just a better better fit on the East Coast than he is West Coast. Uh, but Oregon now uh, replacing Taggart. They promoted uh, interim Mario Cristobal, who was the head coach at Florida International for uh, quite some time, and I really don't like the hiring, the promoting of Chris Ball to head coach, just because he didn't have success at Florida International. One of the now they've gotten better throughout the years, but when he was there, one of the worst programs in college football. If he's not going to have success at Florida International, how the hell is he going to have success at Oregon? It just doesn't add up, doesn't make sense to me, but if that's what they want to do, so be it. If, you know, they suck for years to come, uh, I think they can uh, blame themselves, and I think a lot of people can agree with me on that. But Boise State, Oregon, should be the best game, I think, on Saturday. Las Vegas Bowl, 330 ABC. Boise State, I'm going to take to win this game. Brian Harson, surprised he stayed. Surprised he didn't... uh, Get, didn't get a lot of calls to uh, go somewhere else and coach, especially Arkansas. They hired Chad Morris, if you didn't see that. Uh, I didn't really want to throw any uh, any more coaching carousel discussion into uh, any more videos, just because it's 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 basically over. It, it is over. All the all the jobs have been filled, and you know, by the time I record and stuff, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. But, uh, so yeah, since last time I recorded, Oregon promoted Cristobal, uh, Tennessee fi- finally got a head coach. They hired Alabama defense coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt, and then Oregon, uh, not Oregon, uh, Arkansas hired Chad Morris from SMU. So, um, I'm surprised Harson Harson stayed put, but he did maybe next year. Maybe there'll be a bigger opening next year that he likes. But maybe he stays at Boise State, you know, for the rest of his uh, time coaching football. We'll see. Uh, I think everybody thought the same, though, about Chris Peterson. And then he bolted from Boise to Seattle. And he's still currently coaching uh, the Washington Huskies. So, um, Boise State will beat Oregon, though, Saturday in the Las Vegas Bowl. Surprised uh, Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreit are on the call for this. Normally, this years past, from what I can remember, the announcing crew for games on Saturday, the first Saturday of bowl season, they they're not the most popular. I'm not going to say they suck because they have a job for a reason, but they're not the most popular or the or the best. Uh, of the best uh, in uh, in the broadcasting uh, profession, but um, I mean, I don't really have much room to talk, you know, because hell, I just I just do a podcast. But it is what it is. Oh well, the Gildan New Mexico Bowl then Marshall and Colorado State will play each other. Both teams finish seven and five. I'm going to take Colorado State to beat Marshall just because. They're playing closer to home. Marshall's got to fly from West Virginia the whole way out to New Mexico. And the New, Me- New Mexico Bowl in recent years as well has been one of the uh, more popular uh, bowl games to watch with all the excitement 
uh, especially early uh, in the bull season. Uh, but Colorado, I think, will get it down. Mike Bobo's done one hell of a job uh, out there since becoming uh, the Rams head coach after he left Georgia uh, as he was their defense coordinator, but um, or offense coordinator, excuse me. But um, Colorado State beat Marshall in the Gildan New Mexico Bowl. Uh, and by the way, these pictures that you are seeing, I don't take credit for. I don't own. The only thing that I do own is this audio recording and across the goal line picture that you have seen uh, at the beginning uh, of this episode and in other videos. And uh, you will see it at the end of this uh, video as well. So stay tuned for that. And then, as you can tell in those pictures, Cross Goal Lines on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. We also have an email. All links are down in the description below. So just scroll down a little bit. You'll see, click that See More button, and uh, you'll see all the links. And then just click on whatever one you want and uh, go follow and like Across the Goal Line. And be sure to subscribe uh, right here on YouTube. Uh, the Raycom Media Camellia Bowl. Uh, Middle Tennessee State, who finished 6-6, six and six, will uh, play Arkansas State, who finished 7-4. Uh, I'm going to take Arkansas State over Middle Tennessee State. Uh, no specific reason. Just uh, there's some games that you don't have a reason for. You just, you know, it's pick them. Uh, especially bowl season uh, teams that finish same record or close to the same record. Uh, have had the same strength of schedule, you know, so on and so forth. It's just the pick 'em game. So there's gonna, I think there's gonna be a couple, a couple of those uh, throughout these uh, 40 bowl games. And by the way, there's three teams as well that did not get uh, bowl games this year. Unlike two years ago, there's three or four teams uh, that finished below uh, six and six. Six and six, six and six is bowl uh, eligible. You got to be six and six to be bowl eligible. But two years ago, 2015 season, there was three or four teams that finished uh, five and seven uh, and made bowls because there wasn't enough teams uh, that were bowl eligible to go play in bowl games. But then this year, there's too many teams bowl eligible, so three teams get left out. That's just not right. If you finish six and six, you deserve to go to a bowl game. I don't care what team you are. Uh, or what bowl you're going to be going to. Uh, it's it's a privilege, it's an honor, uh, it's a reward uh, to go to a bowl game uh, for the season that you had. Whether you finished 6-6 six and six, right at bowl uh, eligibility or you finished undefeated and you're playing for the national championship. So uh, the three teams that didn't, you know, they probably should do something about it, you know, give you guys something or something, but... I doubt they will because, you know, in the coming years, this is more than likely not going to happen, you know, every single year. So it is what it is. But um, just just a quick thought on that. But uh, Arkansas State, I think, will beat Middle Tennessee State in the Camellia Bowl. Uh, the Cherry Bundy Tart Cherry Boca Raton Bowl. What a name. What a name. Um, Boca Raton Bowl. Down in Boca Raton, Florida. Akron's coming down from Akron. Florida Atlantic staying put. They don't even have to move. Uh, they can uh, keep shop where it's at. And uh, Florida Atlantic, I think, will take care of business. Hell, like I said earlier, they're playing at their home stadium. Lane Kiff and the Lane Train, they've done one hell of a job this year. Finished 10-3, and three, uh, won their conference, uh, and Lane Kiff, and he's staying put as well. Name came up for a couple jobs, but he's, he's staying put. Maybe he goes somewhere else next year if a bigger job opens up, but really, I think he should stay put for Atlantic probably for the rest of his career, the way his career has gone the past 8 to 10 years. Uh, he's had big gigs, and really didn't succeed um, overall at the three that I can think of. Um, but Florida Atlantic will beat Akron. The DXL Frisco Bowl down in Frisco, Texas. 
Uh, Louisiana Tech and SMU will play each other. Louisiana Tech finished 6-6. Six and six. Skip Poltz is still their head coach, if you did not know that. And SMU finished 7-5, and five, just lost their head coach. Uh, and, and Chad Morris went to Arkansas. But they hired former Louisiana Tech and Cal head coach, Sonny Dykes, become their new head coach. So Sonny Dykes is the next head football coach at SMU, uh, trying, going to try to keep things moving in the right direction uh, the way Chad Morris had you know, started uh, whenever he came over from Clemson was there three years and now he's going from SMU to Arkansas we'll, see, we'll have to see if he has success I don't know uh, but SMU I think uh, will beat Louisiana Tech uh, in the DXL Frisco Bowl the bat, these names too, these bowl games they're ridiculous they're funny, but they're ridiculous. They just need to, you know, stick stick to the basics. You know, if like the Bahamas Bowl, that's a ne- that's another bowl coming up here, right after this one. But this one next, the Bad Boys Moa, Bad Boys Mowers, excuse me, Bad Boys Mowers, Gasparilla Bowl. Gasparilla, not Zasparilla. Gasparilla. Good God. The like I said, these bull game names. They're absurd. They're ridiculous. They just need to stick to the basics, but it's all about money, it's all about sponsors. I totally understand it. Uh, but Temple and Florida International are playing each other in this bull game. Uh, Temple finished six and six in Jeff Collins first season as the Temple Owl head coach, uh, replacing Matt Roll, who went to Baylor last year. They didn't have a great year, finished 1-11. Butch Davis comes out of retirement. Uh, A lot of people know him as uh, the Miami Hurricane head coach. Great assistant with Dallas Cowboys in the 90s when they won their three Super Bowls. Miami Hurricanes head coach, uh, Cleveland Browns head coach there for a little bit, led the Browns to their last playoff appearance uh, and then coached North Carolina there for a little bit uh, and then they had their whole scandal with the academics uh, got fired, was working for ESPN there for a little bit, came out of retirement though after uh, six, seven, eight years off and um, came came to Florida International first season they finished 8-4 and four. that's a terrific year in his first year especially first year back um so, I think I think things are going in the right direction for Florida International uh, down in Miami. I think things will go their way in this bowl game. So, I'm going to take Florida International, excuse me, over Temple in the Bad Boy Mowers Gasparilla Bowl. Repeat after me. You can say it three times fast if you want to as well. The Bad Boy Mowers Gasparilla Bowl. Blows my mind. Bahamas Bowl. Basic. It's basic. Why can't all these bowl games, you know, just have a name like that? Bahamas Bowl. Down in the Bahamas. This is a great bowl game for the teams that are playing it. They get to go on vacation. To the Bahamas. UAB and Ohio both finished 8-4. and four. Ohio, I'm picking because I like Frank Solich. Famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Uh, played in Boise on the blue turf. Uh, Wyoming. Uh, they also play in the Mountain West with uh, Boise State. They know uh, they know the atmosphere. They, they're going to know the conditions uh, of Boise. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be snowing. Uh, or you know what the conditions are going to be, but Central Michigan, they're they're coming from uh, from Michigan. Can't remember what city they're at. Uh, pardon me on that, but uh, Central Michigan. I don't think deep down, I I don't think they'll win this game just because Wyoming. They're closer to home, and Josh Allen. He's a great quarterback, getting a lot of hype. Potentially, he could be a top ten pick uh, in next year's NFL draft, the 2018 NFL draft. Um, finished seven and five. 
You know, that might be a a uh, a red mark, I guess you could say, a towards towards him. You know, finishing seven and five when he's supposed to be this great quarterback, and you know, you can't lead your team to a better a better record. But you look at look at Cal two years ago, going back to Sonny Dykes. Talk about Jared Goff for a little bit. He ended up becoming the first overall pick to the Rams, uh, and then had a bad rookie year. It was the situation. But then they bring in Sean McVay. Uh, Goff, he's having one hell of a year in his second year. Uh, had one hell of a game this past week against the Eagles, and I talked about that a little bit uh, in the NFL video this week, so go check that out. So I said you got to subscribe to Across the Goal Line here on YouTube so you can stay up to date with all the videos that are being released. This week, this college football bowl season, bowl game, uh, prediction video NFL uh, week 15 this week and then WWE Clash Champions uh, is uh, is this weekend as well from Boston so I'll, I uh, I previewed that as well so or I will be going to record that right after this um, so go go check those out but the thing the thing with Josh Allen going back to that real quick it's it's the it's the talent that he has that is going to make him successful, hopefully at the next level, depending on the situation that he gets in. Uh, so, I think I think he goes out a winner. So Wyoming, because they're playing closer to home, will play will beat Central Michigan in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, the Birmingham Bowl, Downing Birmingham, Alabama, Texas Tech, who finished six and six. Surprise, Cliff Kingsbury still has a job. That's just me, though. South and South Florida, who finished nine and two, will play each other. South Florida's going to win. They played great. Uh, didn't play good enough, though, when they played Central Florida right after Thanksgiving on Black Friday. That's basically the only game of them I can remember watching this year. But Charlie Strong's done one hell of a job in Tampa in his first year uh, as the Bulls head coach. Um, and you see what, you know, Willie Taggart started now. Charlie Strong's trying to finish and, you know, keep going. Uh, but South Florida, they they hung on uh, and almost beat, if not the best uh, college football team this year, one of the best, uh, in, uh, in Central Florida, who's currently – the only undefeated team, and if they defeat Auburn in the Peach Bowl, which I'll get to here uh, at the end of the show, as that's one of the New Year's Six Bowl games, um, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll finish undefeated or as the only undefeated team, or you know, there'll be no undefeated teams this year. But uh, South Florida, they they played, and I thought should have beat Central Florida, but they didn't. Uh, they they're way more talented than Texas Tech. The thing too, Charlie Strong was at Texas for three years, so he knows this Texas Tech team. I'm sure right now he's you know uh, got his game plan already, and I think South Florida will beat Texas Tech in the Birmingham Bowl in uh, in Birmingham. The Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Armed Forces. I don't know off the top of my head if this uh, if this bowl game automatically gets an armed forces uh, affiliate, a military team, say an army, navy, or air force. Um, but this year, I believe in the past, navy's played in this game. Uh, more than any of those three, but Army's playing it uh, in this game this year, playing San Diego State. Army, they defeated Navy last week for the second straight year, won the Commander's and Commander in Chief's Trophy for the first time since 1996. Um, I think I think Richard Penny though uh, is too much for Army. I think San Diego State will beat Army in the Lockheed Martin uh, Armed Forces Bowl. The Dollar General Bowl then will see a matchup 
from last year in the Raycom Camellia Bowl, Raycom Media Camellia Bowl, uh, as Appalachian State, App State, and Toledo will go head to head for the second straight year, different bowl games, but will be meeting each other uh, in the postseason for the second straight year. App State finished eight and four, Toledo finished eleven and two. Toledo won the MAC, and I think Toledo gets revenge from last year. App State beat Toledo last year in the bowl game. Toledo gets revenge this year. Toledo finishes with 12 wins. They beat App State in the Dollar General Bowl. Hawaii Bowl, the last bowl game, um, the last bowl game before Christmas. This bowl game uh, is always played on Christmas Eve. And by the way, if you uh, don't know, if I didn't say it at the beginning of the show, I am previewing every single bowl game in this video. So just stay with me. I know about 27 minutes uh, right now. So this is the last bowl game before Christmas. And then we'll have uh, the other ones obviously after. Hawaii Bowl, Fresno State and Houston. Fresno State finished 9-4. and four. Houston 7-4. and four. Houston didn't play week one uh, due to Hurricane Harvey at the beginning of the year. Uh, if you remember that. Um, that game was obviously not made up. That's why they only played 11 games. Fresno State, they uh, lost uh, the Mountain West uh, Conference Championship game to Boise State 17-14 to um, after defeating the Broncos the week before at the end of the regular season. But uh, with losing the Mountain West, you know, they still get to go to a good bowl game. They get to go to Hawaii, for, of all places, when Boise State gets to go to Vegas. So I think, you know, it worked out for both. But um, Fresno State, I think, is going to win. Don't really have a reason. Uh, Zaxby's Heart of Dallas Bowl, the 26th of, uh, of December. Utah, who finished 6-6. Six and six. Uh, we'll be playing West Virginia, who finished seven and five. Um, this will be this game will be played at the Cotton Bowl, the historic Cotton Bowl uh, in Dallas. West Virginia is going to win, uh, so let's go Mountaineers. Quick Lane Bowl, Detroit, uh, Duke in Northern Illinois. Duke finished six and six. Uh, in the ACC, Northern Illinois finished 8-4 and four, uh, in the MAC, And I think Northern Illinois will finish 9-4 and four, uh, and defeat Duke in the Quick Lane Bowl. The Cactus Bowl, Kansas State and UCLA. Uh, Kansas State finished 7-5. Bill Snyder still, still coaching it up. And then UCLA uh, finished 6-6. Six and six. Fired head coach Jim Moore Jr. Brought in Chip Kelly. He'll obviously uh, be be attending this game, not coaching it. He'll be uh, keeping an eye out, uh, keeping a close eye on this game. He's obviously, and all the new head coaches are keeping a close eye on their respective teams now, watching prep bowl practices if they can, if their team made a bowl game. Um, and... I think I think UCLA finishes strong, and this this marks uh, somewhat the first game of a new era of UCLA football. As I think UCLA football uh, will be getting back to prominence uh, after this game, and I think Chip Kelly is going to lead them uh, back back to the promised land. As hopefully he'll do with UCLA as what he did with Oregon. Uh, it, it, it would be good for college football if both uh, Los Angeles teams uh, are, are, uh, are good. But uh, UCLA over Kansas State and Cactus Bowl. I'm going to speed it up here a little bit. Um, the walk-on, walk-ons Independence Bowl, Southern Miss and Florida State. I'm going to take Florida State. The New Era Pinstripe Bowl, Iowa who finished 7-5. and five. Both teams finished 7-5. Finished and five. Iowa and Boston College. Boston College is going back to their first bowl game since the Pinstripe Bowl at the end of the 2014 season when they uh, lost in overtime to none other than Penn State, a game that I was also at. Um, 
and I think this is the first full game that a Big Ten school is playing in, uh, and I'm just going to throw it out there now. Any any bowl game that has a Big Ten, Big Ten school in it, I'm picking the Big Ten team. Um, so Iowa over Boston College in the New Era Pinstripe Bowl. Purdue's playing uh, Arizona in the Foster Farms Bowl. That's the next bowl. So i got to take Purdue. Uh, I don't care how good Khalil Tate and Arizona are. Purdue and Jeff Brom are going to win. The Texas Bowl, the Academy Sports and Outdoors Texas Bowl, Texas and Missouri, a battle of two old foes in the Big 12. Texas, I think, will finish strong, finish 7-6. Military Bowl, Virginia's playing Navy uh, at Navy's home stadium. This game should be packed. Obviously, Navy's playing at their home stadium, but Virginia's not coming far uh, up the road from Charlottesville. So, um, should be a packed game, should be a fun game to watch, should be really, really close and exciting. I think Virginia's going to win, though. Um, Navy didn't look good uh, when I watched him play Army uh, last week. The Camping World Bowl down in Orlando. Virginia, The 22nd ranked uh, Virginia Tech Hokies will play the 19th ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys. Both teams finished 9-3. and three. Only reason why I'm taking Oklahoma State is because I think their offense is going to put up more points. Valero Alamo Bowl uh, Stanford, the 13th ranked Stanford Cardinal, and the 15th ranked TCU Horn Frogs. TCU looked all right, pretty pretty good uh, in the Big 12 title game, but Oklahoma was just too good, and they were too much for them. Stanford, both teams obviously lost their conference championship game. Stanford lost to USC, and then as I said, TCU lost to Oklahoma. TCU, I think, is better on paper, so I'm going to take TCU. The San Diego Credit, San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl, uh, Washington State, uh, who finished nine and three, and Michigan State, who also finished nine and three. Both teams are ranked uh, 18th and 16th, respectively. Michigan State, Big Ten, I got to take them every single year. I don't care who is playing who; it's good for your conference. So if you're in a Florida fan, uh, I know you guys didn't make a bowl this year, uh, but you play in the SEC, you root for other SEC schools. If you're uh, if you're a Colorado fan, you root for Pac-12 schools. It's, it's, it's plain and simple. You just have to. It's good for the conference. So, it, it's just how... It's just how I... How I think... So, um, Michigan State, obviously, I think will win then. The Belk Bowl, Wake Forest and Texas A&M. Um, Wake Forest, I think, will finish strong and upset A&M. Jimbo, I thought I th- thought you should have stayed at Florida State, but 10 years, $75 million, it talks. Wake Forest over A&M, the Hyundai, uh, Hyundai Sun Bowl, uh, the 24th ranked NC State Wolfpack will go uh, up against uh, the 7-5 Arizona State Sun Devils. NC State will win. Dave Dorian has done one hell of a job. Uh, the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl uh, will we'll see... We'll see Kentucky in the 21st ranked uh, Northwestern Wildcats. Uh, Northwestern Big Ten, got to pick them. The Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl, New Mexico State uh, and Utah State. No specific reason. Going to take Utah, Utah State, though. The Goodyear Cotton Bowl. I got this game right. I got the matchup right, I should say. I had these two teams playing for the national championship. Didn't make it to the national championship. Both teams won their conference. USC won the Pac-12, and Ohio State won the Big Ten. 
Um, USC is currently ranked 8th, and Ohio State is ranked 5th. Ohio State, Big Ten school, got to pick them, so go Buckeyes. Um, hopefully we don't have to listen to fight on SC the entire game, but we probably will anyway. Um, but I, I got this matchup right, and, you know, I'm proud of that. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, so go, if you do go back and listen to the college football preview video back in August, I did predict USC and Ohio State would be playing each other in a bowl game. I did predict it to be the uh, national championship game, but still, I got it right. The Tax Slayer Bowl then, Louisville and Mississippi State, uh, the 23rd ranked Mississippi State Bulldogs. Last year, Lamar Jackson didn't play well in a bowl game. Uh, they lost LSU in the Citrus Bowl. I don't think he'll play good good again in another bowl game, so I'm going to take Mississippi State. Uh, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, Iowa State and Memphis, the 20th ranked Memphis Tigers. Memphis, I think, is just much better than Iowa State. Um, I think especially their offense. So I'm going to take Memphis over Iowa State. PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, the 11th ranked Washington Huskies in the 9th ranked Penn State and any Lions. Both teams finished 10 and 2. Uh, Penn State, every single time they've played in the Fiesta Bowl, they've won. Going back to uh, Glendale uh, to play in the Fiesta Bowl. Normally, the game was played in Tempe. This will be Penn State's first game in the new uh, University of Phoenix. Phoenix, uh, yeah, University of Phoenix uh, Stadium. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, uh, where the Arizona Cardinals play at. So, um, it's games in Glendale, not Tempe, but Penn State still a Fiesta Bowl. So, man, I'm a Penn State fan. They're Big Ten school. We are. Capital One Orange Bowl, um, Wisconsin and Miami. Uh, Big Ten against ACC. Uh, really don't have any Big Ten SEC matchups this year, surprisingly. But um, and that's what you normally keep an eye out for with those two conferences playing each other in bowl games. But oh well, it is what it is. Wisconsin though, Big Ten got to pick them over Miami. I do think they're better than Miami though. So. I do have another reason why to pick Wisconsin. Um, Big Ten SEC matchup, though, in the Outback Bowl, Michigan and South Carolina. Both teams finished 8-4. and four. you got to take old Jimmy Harbaugh uh, and the Khakis. So I'm going to take Michigan over South Carolina. Then uh, Central Florida and Auburn in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, the 50th Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Uh, Central Florida 12-0, as I said, only undefeated team in college football will uh, play Auburn to finish 10 and three. Lost the SEC uh, to Georgia. Central Florida, I think, is going to win. Their offense is just too good. I think. I think Auburn saw that when they played Georgia. Uh, now, I think I would pick Auburn if Scott Frost and his coaching staff were not coaching in this game, but they are. So I'm going to take Central Florida. Citrus Bowl. 14th ranked Notre Dame fighting Irish and 17th ranked LSU Tigers. Both teams finished 9-3. and three. Normally don't pick the Catholics, but I think Notre Dame is better on paper against LSU. So I'm going to take Notre Dame. And then, finally, as we come close to 40 minutes, the Rose Bowl and the All-State Sugar Bowl, both semifinal games uh, in the college football playoff this year, Georgia and Oklahoma, Alabama and Clemson. Oklahoma will beat Georgia. And Clemson will defeat Alabama. So my prediction for the 2018 College Football Playoff National Championship is Oklahoma and Clemson uh, in Atlanta on January 8th. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll happen. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, that's why it's a prediction. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed all 
of my college football preview and prediction and recap videos during this season. Uh, there will be more to come, but this will be the last uh, college football preview video uh, of the season uh, up until um, I preview the national championship game. And then after that, you know, if there's uh, some big news in the, in the sport, you know, I might make a video on that. But this will be the last one until I preview the college football uh, playoff national championship game and then after that that's going to be that um, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed go check out NFL and WWE videos as well it's greatly appreciated